Hey, 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 it's W5HRO. Well, here's a uh, update on this uh, RME 6900 re uh, receiver project from about two to three years ago. I bought this receiver when I still lived in San Jose, and I just found the, uh, the, the very, 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 very hard to find 6901 speaker. And it's kind of a basket case. Well, it's not a basket case. There's not really any dents. It's just all rusted. These speakers, I mean, I surprisingly, it sold for under $40 on eBay. That's where I found that one popped up and I grabbed it. I had a search going on there for like three years and one finally popped up. So uh, two to three years. But I'm going to take some white vinegar and I'm going to wipe all the rust down off of this thing. And I'm going to, you know, take it all apart, clean it, probably replace the speaker, see if I can wash off that grill, refurb it, maybe turn it around the other way. If not, I've got some, almost, I've got some of the, uh, what do you call it, the old Marshall guitar amp, the black grill, it's the same pattern. I can I could replace it with that if I need to, but uh, I haven't touched this receiver since I last worked on it. My plan is, when I eventually get it all done and I'm ready, and get the speaker all restored and everything, I'm going to take this, and the cat, you know, the cabinet for this guy, and this the cabinet for this speaker. I'm gonna have somebody just do that. What do you call? They put that. What do they call that machine they put on there? And they they can actually match the color. They get the color code for it. They get was it the spectrometer or what? I don't know. What do they call those things? But a lot of the, the automotive paint shops have those. And I'll just take it down there and I'll have them match the paint. I'll have them spray both of these things and bake it so it'll look professional. And that that way it'll be as good as new. But uh, my plan is, is to have the speaker here and then in the pre-selector sitting on top of it here. So I finally did find the speaker. These things are, I mean, I'm going to keep looking for another one. Maybe I can find one in better shape one of these days, but it's not really going to matter because if I repaint this to match this and they're both identical, I mean, it's perfect, right? Why, if, they, if they've both been professionally painted to match it, the original color, that's great. So I can just do that. But I finally found the speaker. I just wanted to show that. Like I said, it's all rusted. There's no dents anywhere. And I uh, couldn't believe it sold for like 38 bucks. It was amazing. I was surprised nobody else grabbed it. Maybe it was because of the condition of it. But it's, you know, you can't find these speakers. Where do you find them? Unless they're in this condition or you buy an RME 6900 receiver that somebody has matched, has paired the speaker up with it, and you have to buy both pieces. So where else do you find one of these speakers? I mean, this is, I grabbed whatever I could find. Even if it was dented, I would have bought it and had somebody pound it out or maybe tried to have done it myself. But luckily, this one's all intact. There's no dents. So I'm going to take it apart, wipe it all down. Like I said, I'm going to take some white vinegar. I'm going to get all this rust wiped. I'll just, I might just take it off. What I'll probably do is I'll probably soak the whole case in white vinegar, and then I'll just wipe it all down, wash it off good, and just preserve it like that temporarily until I can get the thing real, you know, repainted. But at least if I if I wipe this rust down, it won't look as bad, and it'll it'll preserve it. So that's it for now. This is W5HRO.